What's going on, guys? It's me, Stefan. And me, Mel. And, and we're the, the Bellazers. Bellazers. All right, guys. So today we're going to be reviewing another Dragon Ball episode, Dragon Ball Super episode 85. Uh, sorry about not putting out videos this week, guys. We've been working hard. Uh, we don't. We haven't had time to post any videos. But um, today we do. So we want to um, review this episode for you guys, and we're gonna push out some more videos today yeah, for you so. guys. All right. But um, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click the notification notification bell to and, get notified when we. And get don't a video. forget to follow us on Instagram and on Twitter. The link will be in the description below. Definitely, guys. But let's go ahead and get in review and let's do it. Oh. All right. First thing we see here, we um, we see Goku and Gohan um, flying towards um, Dende's um, tower to actually find number seventeen. But um, Goku tells Gohan, "Go recruit Piccolo, and while you're doing that, go ahead and train. So I'll I'll handle the rest from here." So pretty interesting. So Gohan's finally going to train with Piccolo. I don't know, guys. I have a feeling that Piccolo's been training this whole time, and Piccolo has something up his sleeve. I think Piccolo. Is a little bit stronger now. We'll have to wait and see, but I'm okay. training, but I don't think he's been like he doesn't have anything up his sleeve. I don't know. I and think he might be stronger. For no, sure. I think Piccolo has something up his sleeve because he's been meditating a lot lately. So I'm I, I, I'm telling you guys, I think Piccolo has something up his sleeve. We will see. But we'll see. So while they were flying and everything, um, they skipped to the universe um, eleven Supreme Kai, which. Obviously, his name is Kai, mm -hmm. which is pretty interesting. They call him Kai, but he's a Supreme Kai, so that's kind of funny. But um, so yeah, he comes into this mysterious dark room. Yeah. And he has like these orb-like things where he could con contact any Supreme Kai's he wanted. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you could contact any God of Destruction if you wanted to as well, or Angel, or whatever. But um, yeah. So he the goes. Hero just the Supreme Kai's. Yeah. So he goes into this mysterious room. And these orbs start glowing different colors and everything. And every sing single Supreme Kai, besides the Universe 7 Supreme Kai, was there. Mm -hmm. And obviously somebody asked, was like, oh, what's the wow. Universe 7 Supreme Kai? And he was like, well, he doesn't need to be here because he's the one that hosted. Yeah. That well, he's the his one. His universe is the one that made this mm -hmm. um, tournament possible. So we don't need to um, have him here. Yeah. So whatever. So basically all the universes participating in the tournament were there besides universe 7 so yeah they started speaking and everything so basically you know they were basically um mad at each other saying oh my team's the strongest and universe 3 was like i think universe 2 was like oh my team's strongest and universe 3 was like no we're smarter and we have the um the freaking intellect yeah they're just going back and forth yeah they were going back and forth and everything and then uh and he was like, no, stop doing that. This is what we came to talk about. I wanted to see if we could actually go speak to um, Zeno mm -hmm. and actually ask Zeno, can he just spare us or whatever, find a way to get out this tournament. And they were like, I don't think that's a good idea because doing that might have him erase us on the spot. Mm -hmm. And from then, everybody just say, yeah, we'll Imagine it. if it I'm was out. canceled, though. Like, And then it's like... Nah. I don't think F it would it. be. Like, yeah, I think there's forget a, the tournament. I think there's a bigger bigger agenda behind this, yeah. so I don't think Zeno would ever consider that. But uh, yeah, so everybody just left after that, and Kai was like, "Oh well." After everybody left, he was like, "Well, uh, I was trying to give everybody a chance to live, but obviously, Universe Eleven has the strongest fighters in the mm -hmm. whole entire galaxy. galaxy, like all the universes combined or whatever." So. He was like, whatever, we have the strongest strongest fighters, so we're going to win. So he's pretty confident about his team. Um, I'm pretty sure they're... they're I'm def, pretty sure they're, they're, they're probably the strongest. Yeah, they are pretty strong. Like, those guys look pretty, pretty legit. But um, they're definitely setting up Universe 11 to be the main foes for Universe 7. They're going to be one and two, for sure. I don't think any other universe is going to come close. So um, we're going to keep looking here. Uh, after they finish talking and everything... Uh, we see freaking um, Goku, um, while Gohan left, before he went to Dende, he actually saw, um, he was he was near a city, I'm guessing where Mr. Satan has like a house over there, and he saw- His vacation home. Yeah, I guess, a vacation home. But um, he's so rich, he, he took all the money, because <laughs> he's not even the best fighter, but whatever. That's a different story for another day. But um, so basically, um, uh, Majin Buu, popped up and Boo sent I mean Goku sent Majin Buu and was like hmm, let me go check this out and he went to that to that um home or whatever was staying home and Majin Buu was training 
and uh, he, Mr. Singh was like, oh, Goku, how you doing? Whatever, Majibu's been training ever since he fought yeah. Basil, and that he, he hasn't stopped training since. And then Majibu's over here cr crushing rocks, and Mr. Saiyan's throwing the rocks at him or whatever. So, um, yeah, so Majin Buu's been training, and obviously he got really, really skinny. Yeah. Like, Majin Buu was He's looking really, good. Look he's at like, him. So, he, looks, he looks like soup, a lot like Super Buu, but um, with a different type of face. He doesn't have the mean face. He has, like, a Majin, friendly, a Majin Buu friendly type face. So, it's pretty cool to see Majin Buu like this. He looks like a grown man, but he acts like a little kid. Yeah, <laughs> that's how he is. But um, yeah, so like uh, Satan told, um, asked Goku, does he want to spar with Majin Buu? And Goku's like, of course, that's what I was thinking about. So they started sparring, whatever, a little sparring match. I really like this, guys. It wasn't like a in-depth, like, oh, like going full, full loud. Because mm -hmm. Goku never transformed in this fight. He was just trying to just test what Majin him. Buu. Yeah, he mm -hmm. was just testing what Majin Buu was capable of now. And like, it was just a little spar, a little, little teaser of what's to come for Majin Buu. So like, I, I really like that. He's strong. Yeah, so yeah. But that, and that's what we were talking about last video. We are like, oh, he probably got big again because Goku thought that he wasn't right, right. better. But in the in the intro, they showed that Majin Buu got fat again. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. Yeah. But it does prove that uh, Majin Buu can, in fact, get stronger while training. And he actually lose weight while training because they didn't specifically say how he lost weight. But they kind of said he was training and that's, how it, that's why he looks like that right now. So it does infer that... Um, while training that Majin Buu does lose weight and can get stronger like Super Buu or Kid Buu. Well, he ends up gaining or, weight again. Yeah, but in the intro it does show that he... Or maybe that's just an intro. We never know. We don't know what's going to happen. Maybe it's a new... Maybe while he's in the freaking tournament, he just freaking swallows up all his fat and becomes skinny again yeah. or something. I don't I don't know Who how it's going to work. So, uh, But Goku did say while, during this spar that Majin Buu is stronger. So during this spar, Majin Buu actually grabbed Goku... He was throwing all these key blasts at Goku mm -hmm. and um To distract Yeah, to distract, distract Goku, Goku because I think they made a key point to Majin Buu and Goku that um you can't kill in this tournament. Because mm -hmm. Majin Buu didn't quite know that. So they told Majin Buu you can't kill, you have to knock your opponent out of bounds or put him unconscious. So Majin Buu started throwing all these key blasts at Goku and everything. Goku started dodging, dodging, dodging. And Majin Buu being the very smart fighter that he is, basically camouflaged those key blasts. And went behind the last key blast and started punching, pummeling Goku in the stomach. Yeah. And while he was pummeling was Goku, he's trying to get him out of bounds. And Goku started free falling. And then Majin Buu with his long arms just basically kind of pushed him all the way out of bounds. Which was pretty cool to see. Like, uh, Majin Buu is really, a really, really mm -hmm. smart fighter. Like, um, very smart. So, and then Goku, Mr. Saiyan also told Goku, look Goku, I know this is a spar, but like, you can't be losing that easily. You need to freaking, we need you to win this tournament. And Goku's like, don't worry, I got it, I got it. This taught me something. I got it, I'm, I'm not going to lose the tournament. So, we'll have to wait and see. So yeah, after this, we see, um, basically, we see, very interesting, like, this kind of, this kind of stuff like in this. Dragon Ball, I really like. I wonder if they'll ever make a spin up, because I know you guys know that, um, T Toriyama started a new manga, which is with Jocko the Patrolman. So Jocko basically has his own manga explaining who Jocko is and all that stuff. But these space, Universe 11 space, space um, ah, Pride Troopers. Sorry about that. Universe 11 Pride Troopers. They look a lot like the type of um person thing Jocko is, cause like they all the like um Genyu Force Pride Troopers, um freaking Jocko. They all come from the Japanese culture of Power Rangers because Power Rangers originally came from um, Japan but yeah so like I would I wonder if they would make like a different type of series with just the Universe 11 Pride Troopers just them because this type of stuff right here when you see freaking Topo coming out of his spaceship yeah. getting out here going to a freaking restaurant and drinking uh, uh, I'm guessing alcohol and some little appetizers and everything like, I really like that. that yeah, it looks like too. a completely different, different show. show. It doesn't it even look like Dragon Ball. It looks like a completely different show that actually, I, I actually would watch. So, um, hopefully they do something like that. That would be really fun. But, yeah, so Topo goes in here, and while he's eating his little delights over here, he um he, he actually starts thinking about Goku. Goku, yeah. The blue and, um, reminded him of Goku. Yeah, exactly. Well, I don't know if the blue drink reminded him of Goku. Yeah, because he looked at the drink, oh. and then he thought about Goku right ah, after okay, that. Okay. But, yeah, so, yeah, he, he looks really worried about Goku. I think he really feels that Goku really has a chance against Jiren. 
But um, is it yeah. Jiren or Jiren? I think it's Jiren because in, Jiren. in the in J- Japanese um pronunciation, they keeps calling him Jiren. Jiren. So maybe we'll call it Jiren in the uh, English dub, but maybe Jiren. Tomato, Who the heck tomato, knows? Whatever. Who the heck knows? <laughs> but um, yeah. So. Yeah, so we still see here, and he's thinking about Goku and everything. He's getting angry. And they even have, like, these watches, like Power Rangers back in the day, the Mor- Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, when they're thinking, go, dun, 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 yeah. dun, and they're like, whatever. So they have these type of fancy watches, which is pretty cool. But, they're um, very high-tech. Yeah, for real. And then we see, like, um, one of the Universe 11 Pride Troopers, um, his, they call him the General. Mm-hmm. He, ha- he also has a name. I think, I think his name is Casserelle, like Casserole, whatever. But um, they call him General, and then um, they're there, and then like he's trying, he's asking Topo what's wrong with you or whatever, and Topo doesn't want to tell him yet. And then their watches beep, and then they figure out that there's Something trouble somewhere in another planet in the universe. So they get in their ship, like um, basically Star Trek. That you see like freaking yeah, the General in the front, and you see the freaking um, Captain Kirk in the back, freaking just telling him where to go. So that's pretty cool. Um, Toriyama has a really bright mind. He keeps using these other shows and putting it in Dragon mm-hmm. Ball, which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, so, and then we cut to Shampa, and Shampa is speaking to the other gods of destruction. So Shampa is actually the one that contacted the other gods of destruction, but he didn't invite Beerus. So I know a lot of people were saying before um, the actual subs came out, whatever, that, oh, oh maybe Shampa. Maybe Shampa, if the Gods of Destruction do something, what will Shampa do? Because Shampa is Beerus' brother. Mm-hmm. But Shampa is the one contacting the other Gods of Destruction in this in this particular episode. So, I don't know why he would do that. I'm not sure what's going on. But Shampa is known to be kind of a sore loser and a cheater. So, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But, um, yeah, we see here and everybody's just talking and finding out what's going on. And actually, um, Vados actually mentioned... Um, don't don't be um, talking um, bad about Universe 11, guys, because if Goku didn't tell Zeno to host a tournament, mm-hmm. like you guys would be erased right now. So give Goku a little, a little credit. bit of credit. But the guys of Destruction still didn't care. A lot of them was like, "Oh, I don't care. Mm-hmm. I just don't like the way he was with the with Zeno. He's a very ungodly or whatever." Blah blah blah. And then the freaking uh, Egyptian yeah. guy was like, ooh, I kind of like him. Yeah. Whatever. So that's pretty funny to see. That was funny. Yeah, that's a girl's, girl's input. They're like the bad boys, you know. But, um, yeah. So uh, so we're going to keep going no here. No comment. Yeah. We're going to keep going here. And then uh, Universe is um, tense, um, God of Destruction, that we never saw during the freaking um, Zamasu arc. Now, all of a sudden, he's saying oh, he doesn't like Goku and everything. Yeah. Yo, no, where like... were you when Zamasu was freaking... Doing all these bad things. You were nowhere to be seen. But now Goku's just being ungodly and you want to hate Goku? Get out of here, man. But, um, so whatever. Uh, we're going to keep looking here. Uh, then we see, we fast forward. Cool. Yeah, we fast forward. Like you to, said before, it looked like a completely different, like, show. It did, yeah. It's just a completely different show. It's like we're here in Dragon Ball and we just switch over to a completely different show, which is cool. I would definitely like to watch the show. So, um, we see this enemy here. And then we see this um, very controversial Beerus look-alike character, mm-hmm. right? Everybody's saying Beerus is a cat and that and this and that and that they're they're cat Egyptians, whatever. I guess I'm but, his cat. Yeah, but they keep showing this character. Like I think even Geek Them 101 even referred him as a bunny. Like this character does look like Beerus, but he to me he's a bunny-like species because they keep focusing on the teeth he has these buck teeth long ears and he jumps all over the place i'm i'm willing to bet that this guy's he's he's but he's a bunny he's like a bunny whatever type of creature but he's probably related to beers too who knows I but yeah know. what does he have like a tail like he doesn't have like a little because bunnies no, he, have like a fluffy yeah he tail. do have a fluffy tail but he doesn't have any fluffy tail back there but you see the buck teeth no yeah i definitely like saw he, that like he looks like a like a bunny, but at the same time he rabbit. looks like a siamese cat like he, yeah, really he does, does. It's like but a besides mix. the buck teeth yeah i don't i don't get that but um so whatever we see him fighting here he's fighting with the thing and then whatever that thing is and that thing holds grab grabs hold of him and then in the meantime, while the thing is about to eat him, you see Topo and the general pops up, pop up, yeah. and they save him. They Thank save him. Thank God. Yeah, they save him, whatever. And then they go into their intro, whatever, their pride trooper intro is like Power Rangers, obviously. He's yeah. like, I'm Topo, or whatever. And then this guy's like, I'm the Sonic Warrior, Dispo, 
or whatever. And then this other guy's like, I'm the freaking slashing warrior, freaking Kala Casserel, Casserel. So Casserel, Casserel, whatever. So yeah, so it's like Power Rangers, like saying, oh, Green Ranger, Red Ranger, blah, blah, whatever. Yeah. So that's what they were doing there. I like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then um, we keep going here. And then they, they freaking demolished that monster. And they had a really, really nice super attack Double with um, Casserel right. and um, I forgot what the rabbit names already. But uh, that's cool. Whatever. So the rabbit looking guy. So they had like a technique and they freaking um, fired the thing together. So I wonder in the, in the tournament of power, Universe 11 is going to be a together. team. Yeah. Like they're not going to be individuals freaking fighting everyone. They're gonna be a team. Well, so they these fight guys, as a team. Exactly. Anyways. So they're gonna be really yeah. tough to beat because it's not like one on one, like tennis or something. They're it's like a basketball team. Yeah. You need a team to beat another team. So they're gonna be a tough out. Uh, they they look to be a very very tough tough comp competition for the rest of the guys over there, and they call it the double cannon maximum. Mm -hmm. So double cannon maximum. Hopefully we get these characters in Xenoverse three, Bandai, please. So um, let's keep going. Uh, we see Topo grab the guy, he threw him down, and they just destroyed that guy. It was over for him from the start. And then Topo starts telling them what's going to happen. This the tournament of power and everything. That Universe 11 might get the race if we don't win. Mm -hmm. Or whatever. And then they cut over and it was like, so we're going to need every Universe um, Pride Trooper um, Warriors for this tournament. The best of the best of them. And we're, we're the rabbit guy even said, we're going to need Jiren. Yes. And Topo was like, don't worry, he's already training. And then they cut to Jiren. And Jiren's over there training. And he his is training like, is just meditating. Yeah, but he is, man. Yeah. He's intimidating. Yeah, he, he very, very intimidating. He looks, he looks, Goku's going to have a run for his money. When is Goku going to train? Come on, Goku. You need to be training right now. He's been training this whole time. Yeah. But we'll see. I'm so, like um, really hyped to see what he can do. Like, yep. I can't wait. And then we see, um, we see uh, Mr. Popo here in Dende and Goku finds out where number 17 is and then they tells him his location. And then freaking, she she thinks Mr. Pope was so funny looking. Yeah. Yeah, he is funny looking. He's very ugly funny. as hell. Yeah, very ugly. So um, so basically um, we cut here. We see um, Shampa contacting his fighter. Shampa said he's gonna take care of recruiting the fighters. Cause Spring was like, um, are, are you sure you want to handle this? Cause I could get fighters too. And Shampa was like, no, I've done this before. I'm gonna get the fighters. And the first fighter he recruits is Kaba. Yeah. He's, he told Kaba, I need more Saiyans from you. Yeah, you need to get Saiyans stronger than you, which is gonna um, lead to a very interesting topic because everybody's been saying the female Saiyan is from Universe 11, but this kind it doesn't confirm it, but it definitely is leading to the direction that Universe 6 is the universe that's gonna be um, bringing the female Broly looking like mm. character. Mm. So everybody that was saying that um, Kaba, well, it's not Kaba's sister, obviously. I don't think it's gonna be Kaba's sister, but everybody's been saying that Kaba's gonna recruit her. You've been a, you're a great prognosticator because that that seems to be the case. Kaba's definitely gonna find her, maybe teach her how to go Super Saiyan, or maybe she already been a Super Saiyan and yeah. Kaba never knew. So it's gonna be interesting to see um, what she brings to the table. She's probably gonna be maybe the best fighter on Universe Six right now. Maybe her and Hit are gonna be one and one or one and two. So um, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but yeah, it seems interesting that she's from Universe Six. I can't wait to see. Um, what happens and how she gets introduced, but um, we'll have to wait and see guys But um, we keep going here and then Gohan comes to Piccolo and you see Piccolo meditating. He has the same stance yes. as Jiren Yes, I was just so, so that's what that's that. what that's what got me thinking I'm like what I'm telling you Piccolo has something up his sleeve. It's probably not gonna be to that to that extent, but um but Piccolo I'm telling you guys he's trying to unlock because Piccolo has always been competitive. He hates being a bottom feeder like he doesn't like the fact that the Saiyans are so far behind, beyond him. I'm pretty sure that he's trying to figure out how can his race and his species could get to the next level. I'm telling you, Piccolo has to get to the next level this this coming arc. Him and Gohan, I think they're gonna get to the next level, and we'll see. We're gonna see what happens. But um, pretty exciting to see, guys. Very exciting. But we're gonna keep looking here. Gohan looks very, very um ready, and Goku go. I mean, uh, Piccolo is like, well, I'm gonna freaking um, train that soft body of yours. Yeah. So he has a very soft body. So um, Gohan is very him. weak. Very yeah. He tried him so he hard really right tried there. Him. But um, we'll have to wait and see what that training does for Gohan. 
But um, let's see here. And then Goku, obviously, again, ready to go find number 17. Yeah. And he goes along. And they show, they show 17 on a tractor freaking um, over here patrolling as a ranger, uh, protecting the animals. But, yeah, guys, that's all this um, freaking... Um, that's all this episode brought to us. Very interesting episode. A lot, a, a lot of key um, character building. Um, we saw a lot of stuff from Universe Eleven. Uh, we saw Majin Buu get skinny, and um, yeah, that's it. Was a very good episode. Yeah. Very fun episode. But um, hopefully, these are my type of episodes. I really enjoy. Yeah, she does really enjoy these, these episodes. episodes. But um, hopefully you guys like the review, guys. Um, definitely smash that like button if you did. And comment below. Let us know what you guys think about the episode. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and on Twitter. The link will be in the description below. Yeah, guys. And don't forget to click that notification bell so you can be part of Notification Squad. All right? Notification Squad. See you guys later. Shrek, bye, bye, bye.